Hi, it's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center, and time for another Nature to Go. This week, we're going to talk about one of our state symbols. No, we're not talking milk or blueberries or monarchs. We're talking about our state flower, the showy lady slipper, also known as the pink and white lady slippers or the queen's lady slipper because of its scientific name, Cypridium reginae, queen. This flower has been our state flower since 1902. Lady slippers are considered somewhat uncommon because they can be kind of particular about where they grow. They seem to prefer places that are cool and moist, so woods or wetlands. And then it takes a long time for the plant to grow old enough, mature enough to be able to bloom. Generally, they're around 16 years old before they'll bloom. And then once they're established, they can live 50 or more years in a particular location. So to protect this plant, laws were already put in place back in 1925. And it's illegal to dig up the plant to pick the flowers. We're coming to the end of their blooming season. They mainly bloom from early June to about mid-July, and each one of the flowers lasts between seven and 14 days. A great spot to look for these is up in the Chippewa National Forest. There's a scenic byway between Black Duck and Cass Lake, about 28 miles, where you can see the lady slippers. And there's even an interpretive site where you can park and then see the lady slippers up close and get lots of great photographs of them. Sites like this are important because while the lady slippers aren't necessarily endangered, their population is declining, and a lot of that is because of habitat loss. There's illegal collecting that happens, wetlands are drained, uh, there's, there's road construction, and so the habitat where they grow best is being removed. Um, application of herbicides along roadsides where they like to grow is also a reason why lady slippers are disappearing. So now you know a little bit more about our state flower, the showy lady slipper. Hopefully you'll get a chance to see one at some point in your life. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go, and we'll talk to you again next time.